So I have a question. Have you ever been uh, smoking that good stuff or drinking that uh, that uh, 18 year old scotch and sit back and admiring your collection and you look up at Optimus Prime and you say to yourself, man, if Optimus Prime is a woman, I totally hit that. Well, in that case, if you said no, you're a liar. And if you said yes, well, you need to stop smoking that stuff because you answered that question a little bit too quickly. So in any case, in any case, boy, do I have a figure for both parties involved. Meet the alien attack optional girl. Now, now um, um, let, let's have a little bit of story time at Prime here. Um, backstory. Uh, I I was actually going uh, compiling a video talking about some third party figures that I was looking at that were uh, up for pre order, and um, you know it was going to be a very classy, very uh, uh, poignant, very uh, uh, opinionated video, leaving it open to the public to sort of uh, uh, really engage with the uh, with with what I was going to talk about. And then this thing came along and just blew that whole shit up. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this thing. I, <laughs> I mean, it's literally, I feel like they just saw the big fire bird and the sort of success that character was getting, you know, the big fire bird, AKA oversexualized RC. Um, they saw the kind of, uh, uh, press and promotion I was getting and somebody sat in a room and said you know what I can top that I can top that let me f find the most generic big breasted flat assed anime doll I could possibly get my hands on make sure the hair is green or blue or something thus signi uh, signifying that it's anime and um, let's throw some car parts on it. Let's throw some truck parts on it and uh, uh, give her a sword and voila, here we go. Because <laughs> that's literally what this thing is. This thing is literally a generic figure with a sword <laughs> and some car parts stuck on to her. Oh my God. Oh my God. This, this, this was absolutely amazing when I laid my eyes on it. You know, I made a, uh, I made a joke uh, a while back about divorce bots, you know, overly expensive uh, transformers that people tend to try to get. And uh, well, sometimes if you don't have the means, they lead to divorce. I mean, <laughs> it's nothing else to say. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this one, uh, this one has to go along the lines of divorce spot, but for different reasons. Because I feel like if you're married and you put this up in your display, um, you have a very, very confident spouse. I mean, because I, I, I if I put this up in my house, uh, number one. My daughter's going to be like, what the hell? And I'm probably giving body dysmorphia or something like that. And number two, <laughs> and, and number two um, my wife would probably look at that and say, oh, is that what you think women should look like? I don't, you know, and I'll, I'll, it's, it, it's just not worth it. That, 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 this is a new form of divorce bot. Uh, <laughs> but I can honestly say, but my, my point is, my point, my, my, my sort of counter argument would be to my wife. I mean, she she has she's she, her booty her booty's like super flat i mean seriously like how do you how how do you as a a a a scandally clad autobot um how, how do you plan on fighting the other stripper cons if you <laughs> new term stripper cons how do you how do you plan on fighting the stripper cons uh properly if you skip leg day i mean it, you don't apparently anime girls this has been a running joke with anime girls apparently they don't know what a squat is at all it's just it's biblical <laughs> yes yes i'm making i'm making fun of a a 
a pretend uh, robot hybrid cyborg woman's body. Yes, yes, that's 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 what this channel has degraded into. So voila again. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> and it's like they show off pictures of, of her, her her backside like wow that's so impressive she has a backside congratulations like but but this is I, I just feel like I need to say to my Asian brothers out there listen don't buy this hold the line the 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 love machine 8000 you know the 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 lifelike uh, uh, love machine android it's coming it's coming just hold the line at the rate at the rate technology is doubling within 10 years probably 2031 um you can get yourself a love body thousand and you know she she'll be able hopefully to transform into a scooter or something and be able to you know you can ride her to the store <laughs> And you can get the pre-orders. The pre-orders will probably be up in 2028, 2029. It's coming. It's coming. Hold the line, gentlemen. Hold the line. And I'm sure there will be a uh, upgraded version, a Lovebot 8000 uh, 2.0. And I'm sure that that one will come with the uh, button that you press when you want her to not nag at you. Um, you know, the no nag edition, uh, that one would probably sell out faster, but, the, and they would know that. So they would charge more for that one because they would want the no nagging version of the love bot 8,000. So hold the line, gentlemen, hold the line. Don't, don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. Don't buy things like this because it's unnecessary. It's an unnecessary purchase, but I mean, Hey, Hey, once again, perspective, People are probably saying, oh, Prime, you're just being very hard on this. You, you know, you're just, you're being this, you're being that. Well, okay, fine. It also transforms. Yes, it does. It transforms. It transforms from a cyborg machine love bot thing to a straight up anime thought. I mean, <laughs> there's no other way to put it. It's like, it goes from, it literally turns into the generic anime girl. It goes from warbound power ranger stripper con stripper bot to anime girl generic anime girl big boobs and no butt anime girl with green hair so i mean hey it, listen i'm not knocking anybody that wants to buy things like this but I, i'm just saying at least firebird they try to make it a transformer we all know what they were doing we all know what they were going for, but at least they, at least they, they gave us the shell of a transformer to, to, uh, uh, uh fool us to, into thinking, Hey, you know, Hey, you can't really say anything. Cause this is a, a transformer. Sure. It's, it's a well, and it's a well proportioned, extremely well proportioned transformer, but it's still a transformer. It turns into a car. Want to watch? See, watch. I'll turn it into a car right in front of you. This one. <laughs> what? I, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. But with that said, <laughs> with that said, with that said, be safe, be good. And this is the Drunken Prime cracking open another beer and signing off.